My name is Eric from Charter School of Morgan Hill, and my testable question is, which fruit makes the best fruit battery? Why is this important or useful investigation? It is very hard to get battery power from a fruit, but if it is done correctly, you can light up a small light like this. Eric, what do you predict and why? I predict that the lemon will be most useful because people usually say, oh, let's make a lemon battery. Once we find the best fruit, we'll line them up in series and increase the voltage. What type of materials did you use for your experiment? I used five common fruits and one vegetable. I used the apple, an orange, a lemon, a tomato, a banana, and a cucumber. I also used a voltmeter, alligator clips, galvanized nails, copper pennies, and an LED light. So, Eric, where did you get the idea for this experiment? I talked to my friends, and I looked online for cool ideas for science. Then I searched the Internet and found a cool site called Kilo.com. Um, did you, where did you get your supplies? I got all of these supplies from Radio Shack, and I got these supplies from Safeway. <laughs> what kind of science words or lingo did you learn? I learned... Galvanized nail, copper, zinc, ampmeter or voltmeter, alligator clips, wire leads, LED lights, electrolytes, electrodes, current flow, resistance, amps, and voltage. So Eric, how did you test your hypothesis? Well, I, I thought of a fruit battery and then I got a real battery. I looked it up online and I figured out that a battery is two metals floating in acid, such as zinc or copper, and the acid is in one of the is in some of these fruits. The atomic par particles and the electrons flow from the electrodes to the electrolyte to the electrodes again. From opposite sides. I looked on the battery and I saw the the positive sign, which means which is this side, and then the negative is on this side. When you looked at a, at a fruit battery, oh. either one of these is either a negative or a positive. If this one is the positive, then or this would be an electrode. The current or flow would fall would fall to the electrolyte and into the negative, which is another electrode, and then we tr it travels all through here, and we get the reading right here, which is just about 8 volts. Now I can see it dropping right now. It's losing its, 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 its power. So as you just saw right there, it does not hold the its voltage for a very long time. Now, during my experiment, I saw new problems, like maybe the voltmeter or ampmeter wasn't proper. So, we got a brand new battery that is 1.5 volts, and we're going to hook it up to this and see and see which one, see if it's very quite accurate. One point five six volts that is accurate so it is actually quite accurate, so that tells us that we can actually trust the information that this voltmeter is giving us on these citrus fruits. so we did that to all our fruits and our vegetable, and these are our results. The lemon got point eight seven seven volts the orange got point seven volts the tomato got 0 0.4 volts, and the cucumber got 0 0.1 volts, and all the others didn't get, had no voltage. And now we are hooking it up finally, but then it didn't work. So then I looked it up online, and I figured out that this is a 2-volt battery, is a 2-volt light.
And so now we're gonna line it up in series and see if that and see if we can get this to light up. So we lined these three lemons up in series and we got just about two blooms. Just enough for this LED light. So we line these all up in series and I'm about to put this one on. So now we're gonna light it all up and would you look at that? We got light. So Eric, how'd you come up with this uh, project idea? I brainstormed with my friends, and this one seemed the coolest. My dad also told my brother that he could light up his flashlight with a bunch of lemons. Was that true, do you think? Do you think he could light a, light a, a lemon? Well, it would actually depend about how many lemons you use. Yeah. So, I so Eric, what kind of problems did you encounter during the pro this project? Well, I also thought about it, and I said, what if, what if more copper or more zinc would help, would help the um, voltage become greater, or maybe a bigger fruit, or maybe even, maybe the light wasn't working. That's what we encountered when this light did not work as well, did not work as well, or maybe it just didn't take up, it took up too much. So we switched to an old-fashioned Christmas tree light, and that was the one that actually worked. So Eric, what did you learn from this project? I learned that the lemon was the, was the most useful, just like I had said it in my hypothesis, and that it wasn't really useful enough so that you would really use it all the time. So I thought that only on very rare occasions that you would actually make a good light out of one of these. What was the most interesting thing about this project? Um most interesting thing to me was probably that the that so many other things that we did not really expect to encounter happened so very good any other thoughts no